Russia is gearing up for another offensive against Ukraine later this year. And guess what? It's not looking too great for Ukraine, especially with U.S. aid funding stuck in Congress. The latest NATO intelligence reports show Russia is churning out a whopping 250,000 artillery shells every month. That's nearly three times more than what the U.S. and Europe combined can muster right now. Ukraine's in a tight spot. They're not just facing shortages in ammo, but also in manpower. Some military experts are saying the outcome of the war could hinge on the supply of munitions alone. But wait, there's more. Russia's ramping up production of missiles and tanks, too. Although, to be fair, most of those tanks are said to be refurbished older models, which aren't in the best of shape after being stored outside for decades. Russia also announced it's pulling its vaunted T-14 Armada from the war and canceling the program altogether. Despite the Armada's fate, the latest intelligence indicates Russia has enough industrial capacity dedicated to weapons production. It can keep up the fight in Ukraine for several years. Ukraine, on the other hand, cannot afford to wait that long, not with its current supplies. European nations are stepping up to the plate with seemingly increased urgency, in addition to multiple defense contractors moving ahead with plans to build factories in Ukraine, like Rheinmetall's facility, which will build 155mm artillery shells. There are also multiple foreign leaders openly discussing the idea of sending troops to Ukraine as well. Thank <music> you.